So next let's look at using rsync. rsync is a very nice tool for transferring files. And we're just going to do a couple of quick examples of using rsync here. So let's start by looking at our home folder. So I'm going to do, get into the right window here, ls-l forward slash home. And you're going to see here in the home folder we have several different uh, user folders. So that's all fine. We just wanted to see that it was there. Um, rsync, I can use, I can use it for backups, I can use it for other kinds of file transfer operations. It really works well. We're going to use it doing, uh, we're going to demonstrate it using a backup routine. So I'm going to make a new directory called forward slash backup. And that's easy enough. Now I'm going to use rsync to copy all the files from my home folder to the backup folder and I want to do it recursively. Which means I want to include not only the files but also the subfolders and all the files in them. So that's rsync dash r which indicates recursive and I want to move from forward slash home to forward slash backup. And that just takes a second since I don't have a lot of data in there. So let's do lsl forward slash backup. Backup home. There we go. So here are all of the files from my home directory stored in my backup folder. Now notice though that here we had the actual users. Here everything is owned by root because root is the one that did it. So another way I can do this, so rsync-r moved everything recursively, but it didn't include the metadata. Let's try this again using another tool or another option, rsync-a, which is to archive. It creates an archive backup that includes the metadata, including permissions. So I want to move data again from forward slash home to forward slash backup. Now, if I ls-l backup, preferably with only one U, home, I still have all the data, but now notice that my permissions and my owners have stayed the same. So, rsync has a ton of options, literally. The, um, that you can go through and it gives you a lot of flexibility for transferring data. So just a tool, it's a tool that you're probably going to want to spend some time with and we just demonstrated real quick how to do a simple backup with it. Now remember in a previous video we talked about using cron tabs and scheduling tasks. So using rsync I can do a backup uh, scheduled at a specific time and then using something like Samba or NFS where I can have a share on a remote system I can connect to a remote share and then back up using rsync uh, from my local system to a remote system for a remote backup scheduled via crontab. So that's how several of these different little commands and tools can fit together. So uh, spend some time with rsync, um, look through some of the help information, look through the man pages, and get familiar with it because it is a very, very useful tool.